What up, YouTubers, YouTubettes? So, today I'm making sodium triacetoxy borohydride. And so, to make that, what I've got in here so far is I've got 25 milliliters of DCM and 5.7 grams of sodium borohydride. And then in here, I have 8.5 milliliters of glacial acetic acid. And so now, when you put your DCM and your NABH4 together, they react a little bit. And um, the one thing I'm missing that I need to do is still to put this in an ice bath before I start putting the glacial acetic acid in there. And so I just wanted you guys to see this mix before I put that put it in there because it'll make it's gonna make it harder to see. And so I'm gonna put this in an ice bath, and I will be right back. Boom, ice bath. <laughs> Um, so anyways, now I'm going to start adding the glacial acetic acid in at about a drop a second. And I just have this here as a stopper, because this is fused to that, so <laughs> yay for fused glass. Way too fast. There we go. And so this is gonna drop down in there. And then I'm gonna let this spin until the hydrogen stops bubbling. And uh, at that point, I'll probably let it stir for a couple extra minutes just to assure that it's all done. And we will be at that point when I come back. Hey guys, I'd like to take a second and thank Element82 uh, for sponsoring this video with, with their donation of sodium borohydride. It really helps me make videos like this, and I suggest that if you need this product to get it there. Okay, the acetic acid got done going in about five minutes ago or so, and now, as you can see, the hydrogen is still bubbling off. And it's just going to keep bubbling away until it gets done. And I'll be back when it's done, and I'll let you know how long it's been. All right, so it had been about an hour and 15 minutes in it until it stopped bubbling. And the DCM now needs to be evaporated off, and so I've got it going through a fridge motor for a vacuum pump, which these fridge motors will get it down to negative 30 in a snap. They work great and they're free in most cases and so I'm gonna let this sit under vacuum overnight and when I get back in the morning should be about done ready to come out of there and then I'll have to scrape it out of there and put it into another container and we'll take a look at it then so after being in vacuum for about an hour I decided to check on it and as you can see it came out pretty good and then here, as you can see, it, it's, it's turned into a nice powder. I mean, it's super dry. And, um, the aroma kind of smells like a vinegar and plastic, almost. Kind of a, definitely a smell of its own. But definitely is done. And, uh, just show you what it does in water. I can get a little piece out. Pretty reactive. Okay, hold on a second, I'll get Okay, and so this is regular sodium borohydride right here. I mean, it still reacts, but not nearly as well. As you can see. <clears throat> And so yeah, it was definitely a success right there. So, until next time guys.